just show you or display a couple of things what's going on in the X Series 341, the IBM. Just letting you know, we have this is where the CMOS battery, right? Very similarly. Now, from here, this is what I'm talking about the railing. This is for 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what it is. CPU 1, CPU 2. Okay. VLR, uh, voltage regulators. This 1 and 2. CPU. These are all the fans. CPU 1, and you know the rest. From the hard drive. Basically, like this. So right now we're going to just replace the CMOS battery. That's why we have issues. Now, the motherboard already has been replaced. Uh, I lost the place you put it. And I had to replace the motherboard. CPU, memory, and now the CMOS battery. So just to give you an idea how it looks. Alright, so I'm just going to place it down. If there's any other questions, please you know, contact me, let me know. I'll try to get back to as soon as I can. Uh, sometimes I'm just a field, I'm a field track engineer on site, just like anyone else. We make mistakes, but we are I'm here for the whole process just to give you an idea of what needs to be done. Thanks. Not good. So the next thing once you hook it up and you come up here and it comes up, pick up and it's false. And obviously there is a, uh, a CMOS battery needs to be replaced because the fan is wrong. But I want to just show you a couple of things what you need to do. So, once it boots up, everything all the way comes up to the pole startup header. So, you just click continue and again automatically say yes. And it says continue, it says okay. Again. And in this case right here, you scroll down to restore settings, restore mode, default settings. Yes. Okay. And then save settings. So yes. And then in this case I believe it's uh, F10 or F1. Just exit. Yes, sir. Make sure it is. Yes, exit setup utility. And let's see how it is. I want to show you a couple of things where it came up later on. Remember? There's a the memory. There's the CPUs. It did show up. If it doesn't come up at all, then you know you have issues with your CPUs. Remember I was talking about the memory fail? Zero and one. That means I gotta take them out later on. But at this moment, I just want to show you what you need to do. So, here you just have to wait. Just wait till it all fully come up. Okay. Um, as you can hear all that noise in the background, it's because I'm in a data center, which means constantly going to have fans cool in this area. So, anyway. Remember you saw a few minutes ago, it says time correct? Okay. Okay, so basically you replace the uh, motherboard, CPUs, as well as uh, memory. So before it did not boot, it did not come up, and there was an issue with the whole thing. So if it did not come up, at all. It's CPU. If it's not a CPU, you do the memories. If it's not the memory, you do the uh, motherboard and so on. So I did all that. Sometimes it may give you a timing error. Make sure you uh, correct the timing. The date date. Because you will have an issue as well. So right now you just wait. I did not see any matter any uh, memory error, which I did, it will tell you like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is an IBM X345. So far you wait. 
I just want to show you what are the things that you must do or you need to do um, in a data center. So this is what we went on. You don't need to do anything. It even says press space bar, just wait. And it's gonna run its system. Again, it's an old IBM X345. So far, I did not see any error, any error messages. Before, I got all different kind of error messages from the, the date. I had to correct the date. It did have also a, a me memory problem. I replaced it. It shows zero and one. So zero, it starts all the way from where the railing, and all the way to the floor, closest to the uh, the center of the motherboard. Now, I just want to show you a little bit where the heck is the wall we went on. It's a really an old, old system. As you can see, see? It requires one of those, the purple and the agro green. If you're not familiar, they're not on USB. They are uh, a PS2 or they call them serial mouse and keyboard, the console cable, and the rest of the other cable, okay? So that's how it's being connected. So here we are, we're right, right at the login screen. So far, so success. All right, any questions? Let me know, thanks.